Hello everybody! I hate that ang- oh, I hate all of these angles. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm trying a feature that I've been meaning to try for like eight or nine months now. Since the DLC came out, which is the wonderful Happy Home Paradise, you've actually been able to have a little sneaky feature where you can decorate your villagers' houses on your own island. I think there's a particular sort of criteria you need to hit, but you can decorate your villagers' houses on your island. <laughs> I think it's a really, really cool idea, especially if you've got a theme like mine. I'm currently going for a cottage core mild farm core, mild meadow core theme. And there's a particular villager that I will never get rid of on my island. They just, their theme don't, it's not it. It doesn't fit in. So I'm hoping today that we can go and redecorate their house, maybe make it a little bit nicer and give them a cute little cottage core themed house to fit in with everyone else's houses. Except I don't think everyone else's house is a cottage core theme yet, but I'm getting there. Anyway, I've never done this before. So this is gonna be a fun adventure for all of us, but I am pretty sure Sure, we have to go talk to our bestie, Mr. Nog. Hello, good sir. Okay, let's talk homes. A residence home. About my home. <laughs> no, my home's fine. I mean, it's a bit of a mess, but like, it's it's not my home I'm concerned about today. I need 9,000 bells. Do I have? Oh, that feel when I didn't realize I had like almost the exact money. Let's do it. Yeah. Technically, like, they should be paying me for my time on redesigning their house. But it's fine. Anyway, if you couldn't already tell by the thumbnail, the villager in question is Dear Dom. I love Dom to my core. Dom is one of those villagers where they're a bit colorful for cottage core, but I, I can't get rid of him. Do you see that little face? So we're gonna bring the cottage core to Dom. I trust you to beef my house up good. I can't take this, I can't take this sheep seriously. Okay, the interior, the exterior. Um, we'll start with the exterior and we'll go into the interior, unless it's only one or the two. Maybe let's do interior first. We'll work on the interior. I'd like you to imagine Dom's home. Once it's clear in your mind, I want you to describe all the ideas you have for its interior. I'm confused. Do I get to decorate it? There we go, here we go. <laughs> so this is Dom's house. So yeah, this is, this is Dom's little room. It's cute. I, I, I'm lying. I can't. I'm sorry, Dom. It's not a great house. It's got a cute concept, but it's it's not it. So let's redecorate. This is the stuff in the base design. I want none of it. We'll still keep a couple of things, uh, not of these particular items, but like we'll get in. I'm wanting to make, can we do partition walls actually? <gasps> okay, I got some ideas. I got some ideas. I'm wanting to get a cute little kitchen in here. I'm wanting to maybe get a like bedroom area and then maybe just like a living area. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna go decorate. I hope that you guys enjoy this little speed build part of the video and I'll see you guys when it's all done. Dear Dom, <laughs> I'm sorry we had to do this to your little house. Look like, Dom's house had some personality to it for sure like I definitely think Dom's house is a big kid core perfect like house I think it is like perfect interior for a kid core house it's like sporty and everything and super colorful but I just I love Dom he's one of my favorite villagers both him and Freckles are like my top two favorite villagers um and Dom just seems to fit more in my cottage core island and plus I didn't have a kid core island when I first went hunting for Dom uh, but I spent 15 hours hunting for him and then he had the audacity to autofill so he's never leaving on my island. Uh, he is forever here to stay. Uh, so I thought it was time. I think he's, I haven't really checked out many of the other villagers houses but they're all not so super out there unlike Dom's is so I mean Marlowe's is pretty intense as well. Maybe we'll do Marlowe's next, I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted to use some like partition walls to break up the space for this one. Um, and I really wanted to get like a little bed area, uh, a kitchen as well was sort of something that I wanted and maybe like a kind of small dining table. I think the one thing, and you'll see it a bit later, is I really wanted to go, I've seen a lot of like photos of other builds where it's super, super cluttered. I really wanted to go with that like cluttered sort of feel and I, I kind of did but I also feel like maybe it might be hard for Dom to actually walk around. I also just realized I didn't give him a crafting table. He has got a kitchen so he can cook me recipes but he hasn't got a crafting table for DIYs. It's fine. It's not like I really needed them anyway. <laughs> um, so as for like a color theme and like obviously sort of cottage core, we went with like a brick exposed wall and I kind of wanted to keep everything with like a sort of dark 
all like like a couple of different woods but so, all sort of matching like in a theme uh so like in the bedroom it's all dark woods with this like really cute little white cover on top and then sort of a dark bookshelf as well just to sort of fit in um with it just like different kinds of wood but woods that fit in if that makes sense so move this slightly back because i like the idea of having a little bookshelf in there but what are you guys thinking so far it's it's okay i like it i like it so far i i think in the end when you see it the build turned out really well i just i don't know i think it'd be nice if we could change the room sizes but of course we can't that is the animal crossing way but it, it's it's pretty cute it's pretty cute i'll let you guys just keep watching for a moment We're jumping on into our little kitchen area now um, I wanted to have some I thought it'd be cute to add in the log stools just to like kind of have a couple of stuff that Dom has in their sort of list of things they want uh, but we ended up going with these little counter chairs instead I think I ended up deleting one so we could have a little side table as well uh, but yeah we're just doing the kitchen just adding in some couple of things I think I went with a big espresso machine at one point because like you need we need coffee we need that coffee i literally just made one coffee before recording this voiceover the coffee is good so you know dom Tom's appreciates coffee i appreciate coffee so we definitely need a little coffee machine in here but i think it's cute um but yeah i want to know your guys honest opinions let's let's get off track a little bit here uh, i think i asked this in a video a while ago but what are your guys thoughts on like these voiceovers that we do i won't be hurt if you say you hate them <laughs> i've been watching a lot of videos and i really like the sort of um lo-fi music and text over it i know it can be a bit of like a flip of the coin sometimes it's like you're sort of fully immersed that you can read the subtitles but then other times it's like you've got it on in the background um which sometimes that's what i do is i like to you know support my creative friends and and watch creators that i like to watch and sometimes i'll watch them in the background so when they have sort of things where there's no like uh what like a voice uh sometimes i'm like oh i'm missing out so much but at other times i think it's just really really cute so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and we'll maybe test a few things in the next coming videos now let me know what your kind of favorite videos on the channel are. I do really enjoy doing these decorating ones, but I also enjoy the sort of cottage core and nookers on stuff that we do end up doing. So I, I just love it all. I love it all. I tried to add in a little partition wall there, but I just realized there wasn't enough space. So I mean, I'm just getting rid of it, but we are on to all of our sort of, I think, final touches now, adding in some food and some minor decorations. And then we're onto some walls decorations and some ceiling stuff. So. I think the build turned out pretty cute. I think it turned out pretty cute at this stage. It's definitely difficult to walk around with, so hopefully Dom's just not in their house constantly. Uh, it'll probably encourage them to get out more and do some push-ups, I think. I think that's going on their morning patrol runs. I think that's the 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 thing that'll happen. <laughs> um, added in a couple of other things like a radiator and some plants and everything just to give it a bit more of a homey feel but I guess we're finishing this one up now so I'll let you guys watch to the end of this one. Not much longer left of the speed build and then we'll get into some other parts. Okay, we're all finished with the interior. We're gonna have a quick look at the exterior and go through some options. So this is Dom's original house layout. Um, it's very cute and colorful. I think we can sort of keep these scenes, maybe give them a different sort of look. I do really like this looked house, but I think maybe if we change a couple of things, doesn't need to be a huge over like hall sort of thing. They really don't have many roof options now, do they? <laughs> Uh, I don't want the log exterior, I don't think. Uh, I think that one's quite cute. I just want to change the roof color now to match. Why do none of these roofs match? That's like as close as we're going to get, but even then it's still not great. 
You know what, we'll keep the pink door. We can't get rid of all of it. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, this is this is it. Okay, I'll do a quick little, this is our interior. Here's a quick little look at the inside. So we've got, as you walk in, you've got this little kitchen area over here. Cute little kitchen with a coffee machine because you need that coffee to get them gains. Um, and then over here, I've got a little wardrobe. It's realistically, you can't really squeeze in there, but you know, the, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> and then in the corner here, we've got our little bedroom. Um, this one is really cute. I wanted the book scattered lying on the floor, but it may not work out. But yeah, there's a little bookshelf, a little bed, and like I wanted to keep a couple of the same items. So we've got the tissue box and the cassette player in this room. But then we've got this little living area, um, cute little couch, TV, all that sort of stuff. And then this sort of doubles as a dining chair to go sit up here. So this is our little house. It's it's a shame Dom had to we had to get rid of Dom's house, but this matches with our island theme so much better. So I think this is it. We are all done. I wonder if it gives us the same sort of montage as like the DLC. And I wonder if at any point they say no. Or is that it? Oh that was it. Talked about by tomorrow. Be sure to drop by Time to time travel. I need to see his house. That's actually really cool. I like that it's kind of similar, but a little bit different from the DLC. It's time. Okay, uh, let's go see Dom. Where is Dom's house actually? Okay, all the way over there. I forgot that I decorated this area. It actually looks really cute. Oh, I really like it. I'm proud of proud of past Kitsu, you know? Here is Dom's little house. So let's go in and see what Dom thinks of everything. Hello, bestie. How do you like it? Oh my god, I I just had like the world's biggest panic attack in like 0.3 seconds when he did the dot dot dot. You you don't understand how much anxiety those three dots give someone like me, Dom. How dare you do that to me? <laughs> At least he likes it. Wanna do a couple hours of kar karate to celebrate? I was like karaoke. I was like, hell yeah, but karate? Yeah, let's do it. I'm glad Dom likes it. It's so cute. Well, you fit right in, Dom. You fit right in. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed it. This is my current villager setup. I don't know how many of them I'm keeping, but let me know whose house you want us to decorate next in the comments below. But on that note, I will catch all of you guys on my next video. Bye, everybody.